Hello and welcome to another C Sharp coding homework exercise for Windows Forms. And in this exercise, we are going to create a simple distance uh, calculator. So uh, the assignment is that uh, assuming there are no accidents or delays, the distance that the car travels down an interstate highway can be calculated with uh, the formula distance equals speed times time. So speed times time. And we are to create an application that allows the user to enter a car's speed in miles per hour and then have uh, buttons that display the distance the car traveled in 5 hours, uh, 8 hours and 12 hours. Now we're gonna modify it a little because why to limit ourselves to just these three, uh, you know, 5 hours, 8 hours and 12 hours. Instead, we'll ask the user for the time as well. We'll ask uh, what the speed is, we'll ask what the time traveled is, and then we will calculate the distance. That way we can calculate distance for any time and any speed rather than just have them fixed for three, you know, three different times. So I already have my form ready. Very simple. Again, this is uh, the user enters the speed in miles per hour, the time traveled, which is in hours, let's say hour and a half or two hours, whatever. And then we'll click the calculate distance and that will show in the text box down here. Okay, so let's uh, double click our button and create the logic for to calculate the distance traveled. So uh, we'll need a few variables. The first one is going to be an integer. I'll call it speed. And it's going to be integer because we're not going to do uh, like a 75.3 miles per hour or something like that. We'll do 75, of course. So it's going to be a whole number, an integer. Uh, and uh, the next one is going to be a decimal and that's going to be the time traveled in hours. So it's going to be hour and a half or hour and 45 minutes and so forth. So, um, so decimal uh, and this is going to be the uh, time traveled. And lastly, we need to output the result. So the distance we will, will be a decimal again, and we'll call it distance. That's going to be our output. And uh, the formula is uh, the speed multiplied by time traveled. And those are the values that the user will enter into text boxes. So we can do our speed uh, variable will equal to the text speed dot text. But of course, this is a text, in other words, string. So we need to convert it to an integer. Oh, convert that to integer. And let's do integer 32 and put the text into it and it will convert it to an integer and pass it to our variable speed. And our time traveled, we will have to convert to decimal. Convert that two decimal and this one is the text box for the for the time so that text so we get the text from the text box pass it to our time traveled variable and distance is the calculation of the speed multiplied by the time traveled and now when we have that already calculated, we can pass it into our text box for the output. So our text box dot distance dot text equals the calculation hold or the result of the calculation in the distance variable. Now again, this is not going to work uh, because we cannot convert it to string implicitly. So we, since uh, we are now trying to display it into a text box, we need to convert it to a string. So distance dot to string, just like that. And that's the whole calculator. So um, let's run it. And if the speed is, let's say, 100 miles an hour, 
and the time travels, let's say, is two hours or two, two and a half to verify that the decimals work. So the distance traveled is 250, and it should say actually miles, obviously. So distance traveled is 250 miles, 100 multiplied by two and a half. So if I do uh, the speed, let's say 70, and I'll do it in one hour, that the distance is obviously 70, but if it's like, let's say one and a half hours, then it's one and a half, one, one, 105 miles. So the calculator seems to be working just fine. So it, this is the simple calculator. It's a little improved than what the assignment said. Again, we can simply change the time traveled, uh, ask the user what the time is and calculate any distance for any time and any speed. So I hope you liked it and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Take care.